Welcome back. Welcome back, patriots, to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. I am your host, Bill Bailey, who will be channeling the patriotism of America's founding fathers. Uh, before we get into what I want to talk about, the um, uh, Trump having to show up in Atlanta and get his uh, famous mug shot uh, that will be in the history books forever, uh, and some other news, I want to talk about another FBI SWAT that ended up with somebody, an uh, uh, unarmed American, getting killed. Uh, just thought I'd share this with you. A friend was at an event, uh, forget what it was about, a woman's event, woman's empowerment event or something in Detroit. And Patrick Byrne was there and he had, was, uh, he had these books, uh, Capital Times Magazine, I haven't read it yet, she just gave it to me. So he was autographing and she came up and said, it isn't for me. It's for, um, you know, my neighbor, Bill Bailey, who was in, you know, the Antrim case. Uh, so would you autograph it to him? So uh, Patrick Byrne did, uh, as you can see. It says, Bill, an early but integral soldier in this fight, uh, Patrick Byrne. So uh, Patrick Byrne, if you happen to see this video, um, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, and thanks for all you're doing. Um, Patrick Byrne has put forth millions and millions of dollars of his money. And to be honest, uh, when this first started out after 2020, I am not a trusting person. Uh, so, you know, I was hearing um, Patrick Byrne, Steve Bannon, uh, General Flynn are all deep state. You know, you can't trust them. And I'm thinking, well, hell, I don't trust anybody. But uh, uh, as time goes by, it shows people's true colors and uh, definitely um, Steve Bannon, uh, Patrick Byrne, and General Flynn are 100% patriots, and I trust all of them. So um, uh, they continue fighting like we all should be doing. So um, <clears throat> this article in the Post Millennial, pretty disturbing, by the way. Uh, the Praetorian Guard, that was the elite Roman soldiers, you know, protected, you know, carried out, you know, the death squad. They were the death squads. Um, so that's what I call the, um, these FBI murder squads that are showing up in Americans' house because Joe Biden read some social media posts that he didn't like, apparently. Um, so now they've showed up. This was uh, Wednesday, um, I think last Wednesday, August 16th. Uh, a 100% disabled veteran, Theodore Deschler of Henderson, Tennessee, was killed during an early morning FBI raid. The FBI hit, the FBI hit squad uh, seems to launch their assaults between 6 and 7 a.m. in the morning. That's when they showed up in Utah. That's when they showed up here. I believe that's when they showed up at a, a hit in Texas. Um, so they breached this man's home. Uh, this man, by the way, is 100% disabled veteran suffering from PTSD. I uh, don't believe he heard, could hurt a flea. So uh, Deschler's uh, brother and mother um, can't get any answers from the FBI as to why they raided the house and killed their uh, you know, brother and son, um, Theodore Deschler. Um, <clears throat> the mom says the FBI SWAT team shot through the house, hitting the refrigerator, broke limbs on trees, and used flashbangs. Uh, his elderly met mother um, said when she opened the door after they knocked, the SWAT team pulled her out of the house and put her in the back of a police car. When she asked why they, they the FBI, were there, they said, it's none of your business. Uh, and then they, you know, they were there to kill her son, obviously. Um, the family believes um, Theodore was unarmed, and I have no reason to not believe the family. If I got to choose between believing the FBI and believing the family, uh, I'm believing the family. The bottom line is the FBI showed up at an American citizen's home, a veteran, somebody that was willing to put their line on, life on the line uh, for our liberties and freedoms, right, that has served, uh, and uh, killed him, killed him in his home. Um, this is the definition of tyranny, my friends. What's this, two Utah? Wasn't that just over a week ago? Um, I think, th and they said they're considering a civil lawsuit. Please do. Um, I want answers. I want mugshots of these people. 
these FBI agents that are showing up at American citizens' homes. In their rules of engagement, I seen a guy on Glenn Beck being interviewed at Guantanamo. They teach them that if they breach a house for the, you know, they got to go pick somebody up. Uh, they're taught that if they open the door and they see the guy sitting at a desk or the girl, and there's a gun on the desk, but the person's hands are at their side, shoot them. Uh, because they say it's proven they can grab the gun and shoot you quicker than you can just shoot them. So they just shoot them, execute them. It's what, this is the way they're taught, folks. I'm not saying it's right. I don't think it is. Uh, but that's what they're doing. Um, <clears throat> unbelievable times we're living in. Uh, and today is, by the way, August 25th, uh, 2023 year of our Lord. We are living in his historic times, my friends. History is unfolding like it did yesterday when um, the regime in control, this criminal regime, uses the, the uh, perverts the power of the DOJ, weaponizes the FBI and the CIA and all the ABCs, and uses that power to go after their political opponents such as they did yesterday for the fourth indictment, right? Uh, Trump uh, landed uh, at Atlanta airport. It took about 15 minutes to get to the courthouse. I was watching it live on RSBN. Um, took him about 15 minutes to get fingerprinted and get his mugshot. And I will tell you, uh, um, Trump's mugshot is second to none. I mean, he's looking down. He must have practiced for this because his mugshot is like mega spectacular. And, uh, and then he posts his mugshot. He hasn't been on Twitter since um, 06. He posts his mugshot and he wrote below it in bold print, election interference, uh, exclamation point, never surrender. This is our warrior, folks. He's not surrendering. Never surrender in DonaldTrump.com uh, for fundraising. And I just checked, it's already had, are you ready? 167 million views. <laughs> uh, so Trump has turned this into a um, campaign rally uh, for fundraising, and I will, get, I will be giving money to Donald Trump. Um, try to bypass your state Republican Party, the, definitely the National Republican Party. Give money directly to the campaigns, the people you want to have the money. So people are, you know, you give a hundred bucks um, and you got to watch, you get these texts and they'll say that they're coming from Jim Jordan or, you know, uh, Jim Jordan wants you to fill out the survey. And it's a, it's a RNC fundraiser, Ron Romney, a lot of these. And the money is not going to the candidate you think you're, it's going to. I mean, she grifted hundreds of millions of dollars off Stop the Steal, Ron Romney. None of it went to election integrity, not a frickin' penny. And I kind of got, it's one thing um, Trump did say during his, uh, I think it was this, uh, maybe, no, maybe it was last night on, um, um, oh, Greg, I can't think of his last name, interviewed him. He called in talking about Ron Romney, that, you know, Ron Romney helped him win Michigan. So he helped her, you know, win uh, being the chair of the National Republican Party, and he likes her. I do not trust Ron Romney. And when I hear Trump say that, I mean, obviously he feels he has a good relationship with her, but I don't think she's looking out for you, Mr. Trump. And I, I would, um, I'd be cautious around that one. Um, throw, you know, there's an easy test, throw a bucket of water on her. And if she melts, then you know, she's, she's a bad person. Um, so um, there's been three uh, and Bannon brought this up, and I agree with it, okay? This is just a fact. Anybody that's studied history and knows even a little bit about American history knows this is true. There's been three transformative presidents that the fate of the nation was tied to the fate of that presidency. Whether they succeeded or failed, the nation succeeded or failed. George Washington, number one, my favorite president. If you want to read a great book about George Washington, Read the real George Washington. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. It's um, incredibly sourced. They got the receipts, folks. I mean, it's a 500-page book, and the back of it is all the sourcing. Uh, so there's no um, discrediting any of the info. Uh, so you got George Washington, and then Abraham Lincoln, and then um, Donald Trump. And, and I'm going to tell you... Um, 
in his own right, Donald Trump is facing more turmoil than George Washington or Abraham Lincoln. Um, we're, we're facing a seditious enemy. Um, so I agree with that. Um, and we need to pr keep praying for Donald Trump that God uses him to save this country and pray for revival. God's not going to save a country that's embracing um, the wickedness of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, Biden, by the way, after he has his political opponent arrested, uh, he's hiding again. The guy's been on vacation more than he's been at work. Uh, so no one, no one knows where uh, Biden is hiding today. Um, a Biden-appointed judge, uh, this is in um, Maryland, rules that parents in the state of Maryland uh, have no rights of their children. Uh, they are not allowed to opt their kids out of woke LGBTQ curriculum. Uh, That's what the communists do. The communists do not believe they are your children. The state owns the children. And they will nurture them, and they will indoctrinate them, and it's just tough luck for the parents. You have no say-so, and if you get in the way, uh, when, you know, communist, communism really takes hold, they just arrest or eliminate the parents, never to be seen again. Um, if you want a good little socialist, send them to a public school, and then if you want a growing communist, send them to a state campus, right? Um, uh, the war in Ukraine, you know, they, the war, in, my, my, look, the walls are cr closing in on the, the Biden uh, crime family. They've now traced, they believe, $50 million of selling influence in America, selling us out. He's been profiting. I mean, you guys, makes Benedict Arnold look like a saint, okay? Um, why they haven't impeached him yet is beyond me. I mean, um, and I'll tell you, um, uh, I don't know if it was Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, uh, or maybe it was Jack Posobiec, said all the nominees that are trying to think they're going to knock Trump off of the, off of the um, hill and, and take over the Republican president ain't going to happen. All they're doing is working against us and America. If they love this country, they would all withdraw their nominations and come out with a public statement together saying the fate of America is too important right now. It's more important than me being president. Donald Trump has America first, and we are getting behind Donald Trump, and we're going to do everything we can to put him back in office. That's if they really loved America, um, because they know what's happening. Um, and I think my concern is, is it looks more and more like Trump is going to be president, is that the neocons, the warmongers, and the liberal cons on the left and the right, uh, those that are bought and paid for and have been bribed and owned by the military-industrial complex, do not want to give Trump the opportunity to end this war with Russia if he gets elected. So they're going to take us in deep, folks. You know, full-on war, draft in America's sons and daughters. Uh, I'm really concerned that they're evil. They'll do it. And we're messing with a, we're poking the bear um, of a nuclear armed nation that has more sophisticated hypersonic nuclear weapons than we do. Okay? It's not smart. This isn't our war. We, we caused this problem, by the way, in Ukraine meddling. But uh, George Washington, in his farewell address, said, you know, no foreign entanglement. Stay out of Europe's wars. Why don't they listen to somebody really smart like George Washington? And, and 500,000 Ukrainians have went into the meat grinder now. 200 million are wounded, missing limbs. Um, i seen, by the way, that American money is paying for prostitutes to go sleep with wounded veterans in Ukrainian hospitals. Can't make this shit up, folks. If you want to watch it, go on Redacted on YouTube and look at their videos and you can watch it. He has the receipts. Um, so why don't I close with this? In a 1787 letter, John Adams' son-in-law, William Stephen Smith, uh, received a letter from Thomas Jefferson. And in that letter, Jefferson wrote, what country can preserve its liberties if their rulers are not warned from time to time that the people preserve the spirit of resistance? The trio, and this is the same letter where he finishes with, 
The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Um, our country needs to be reminded of who runs the show here. Um, and if we don't lay our foot down from time to time, uh, put our fists down, you know, um, and let them know that we, the people, run this government, the government doesn't run us, uh, we're going to be in trouble. You know, we went way beyond the time of um, uh, shaking the tree of liberty. Um, these people are criminals. They're tyrants. And communism, uh, communists have, take, excuse me, have taken over the Democrat Party. It's not grandma and grandpa's Democrat Party anymore. It's not the party of JFK. Uh, it is total communist, totalitarian, godless evil um, that uh, is using that party to destroy this country. And I hope the Democrats out there uh, will vote for um, Robert Kennedy Jr. Because he wants a strong border. He wants to end the war. He wants to destroy the deep state who he said murdered his dad and his uncle. And I believe him. I believe they did. Um, a lot of the big thing, a lot of, look, he's into the woke stuff and a lot of the um, uh, social justice crap that I'm just not for. Uh, but he gets that they're ripping off the people. Uh, and Americans are, are living hand to mouth. He said um, these ISIS can make their way to the border here and get a check for um. I think it was him, 2200 a month. Uh, when people that have worked their whole life in America grinding out a living uh, finally get to where they can draw their Social Security, they get like 1400 a month. Spent their whole life paying taxes and working in this country. Uh, get 1400 a month, be some scumbag criminal, make it, to the, make it across the American border and get 2200 a month. Make any sense to you? Uh, they're destroying this country, folks. Um, and I think as um, we see what they're doing now, right? There's, the gloves are off with the Democrats. They've weaponized the, um, the DOJ, the FBI. They've weaponized our government uh, against us. And um, we've got to fight just as dirty as they do. Um, we need to take the gloves off. Jocelyn Benson um, put out a cryptic tweet, but everybody knows what she's talking about. Uh, when asked, you know, about this um, thorny issue regarding the 14th Amendment and Donald Trump being ineligible, she goes, well, just no. You know, that's how the liberals talk about the Constitution when they can per pervert it to, to, uh, to where they benefit from it. Uh, just know that I, I, t I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, and, 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 we, and I expect me and my uh, cohort, cohorts in the Democrat Communist Party to do what's right to destroy America. Basically what she's saying, she's going to unilaterally say Trump is ineligible to be on the ballot for president in Michigan. That's what they're going to try. I believe they know it's going to, it's going to get tort, it's going to go up the Supreme Court and they're going to get, you know, it's not going to hold water. But that's not the point. They're tying us up with lawfare. That means Trump more more resources, more attorneys, right? And look what they're doing. They indicted all the attorneys in, in Atlanta. They're trying to say, it's just bullshit, racketeering. But they're trying to scare attorneys from representing, like a Matt DiPerno representing uh, Bill Bailey, you know, uh, the attorneys that rep represented Garland Fabrito, Trump's attorneys. Uh, look, if you, if, you represent, if you represent Trump, we're going to get you disbarred. We'll sue you. We'll bankrupt you. Um, this is the times we're living in. Um, I believe we're going to be victorious and save this country uh, if they don't get us into nuclear world war with Russia and China beforehand. Um, Biden's literally letting um, China build a military base in Cuba right now. What is it, 60 miles off our southern border? I mean, Cuba's not that far out there. Um, and, the, and they're going to run a, a cyber um, fusion center there, and they're going to be monitoring everything in America. Not to mention there'll probably be nuclear weapons there. Um, Trump said that's going to be gone. It's like day one. The, the, the number one thing, Greg Kelly, that's who he was with last night. Um, Greg, he, he said um, the number one thing he's tackling is the border and getting all the illegals the hell out of the country. Uh, that's like number one. 
Well, he's, he's got a big plate and he's going after everything. Um, this is our last chance to save this country, folks. Um, all the spilled blood of saints, patriots, from the Revolutionary War, you know, Civil War, um, Vietnam, Korean War, uh, World War I, World War II, uh, the Gulf War, all of them. All those patriots that went to a foreign battlefield and gave everything so we could live free, we owe it to them to save this country. You owe it to your grandchildren and your kids, your sons and daughters, to hand them the America that was handed to you. And um, I've said before, we don't have children, but for me, it's, it's, it's the veterans, the people that gave their all so we could live in the greatest country in the history of the world. Um, I have family that served in the Revolutionary War. Uh, John Bailey helped put the great chain across at West Point. Still some links of it there to stop the um, British man of wars from threatening um, the fort. Um, my uh, great, great, great uncle George Bailey served in the Michigan Volunteer 3rd. Uh, fought at Gettysburg, ended up a POW in Andersonville and then Florence. Um, uh, I, have his, I have a copy of his um, Civil War diary. Every once in a while, I'll share stuff from it. Uh, I have an uncle that fought at Iwo Jima, uh, took out a sniper with a knife, uh, ended up wounded and was pissed that we're sending him off the island because he wanted to keep fighting. Uh, uh, I have family, um, my uh, niece's husband, uh, West Point graduate, Naval War College, is serving now. Um, these are people that love America. Um, your family, guaranteed, even if you don't have, you haven't searched it, you're going to find a history of veterans that fought and died for this country. Um, we owe it to them to save this nation. So um, every day from now till Election Day, is going to be crazy times, folks. It is going to get more and more heated. Um, and um, hopefully Trump wins and there's a peaceful transfer of power. I believe there will be. But then, you know, the radical left will trigger their troops, right? Uh, the only thing in that scenario is Trump ain't putting up with it. There'll, there'll be National Guard, you know, will quill any violence. Um, but I'm worried, regardless of which way it goes, um, it's going to be turmoil. Um, so um, we got a lot of work to do, and it's going to take years. Even getting Trump in office, it's going to take years uh, to restore the land of liberty. Um, but we, we have to do it. There's no place else in the world to go, folks. Um, this is the light of the world. And um, if they extinguish the flame of liberty here, that you know that thousand years of darkness is going to settle in on Earth. Um, but I'll tell you, the biggest asset we have is God Almighty. Um, pray for revival. Pray for God's judgment on these wicked people. Um, pray that there's. Um, a revival like we've never seen people coming to Jesus. And uh, cuz if this nation turns to God, God will protect us. And if God is with us, who can be against us, right? Um uh, we have a powerful ally as long as we keep him our, our ally. If we turn our backs to him, then you know not good. All right? I'm going to end it here. Um keep up the fight, my friends. Um keep prepping because we're going to go through hard times. I've heard people that say, you know, um, uh, well, it's in God's hands. Well, you know, like, I, I've been nothing to worry about. Well, um, we don't know when the second coming of Christ is, and we, no one does. Jesus says nobody knows but the Father. Um, we went through World War I, World War II, the Great Depression, evil times on planet Earth, and it wasn't the second coming. Um, so I like to think that... Um, God is using the prepping community to tell other people that he wants to, to hear the message, to, to listen, to be stocking up on preps for the hard times that are coming. Remember Joseph, dis, um, um, uh, disseminating the, um, uh, the king's dream or whatever. Um, 
And he said what, what the dream meant was there was going to be seven, seven bountiful years and then seven years of absolute famine that you needed to save the food during the good years to make it through the bad years. And uh, that's exactly what happened. So um, I just hope you're prepping and keep praying. Uh, keep up the good fight, my friends. See you. Bye.